Hello, everyone. My name is Samila Rajasingham. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are live talking about real estate marketing, web development for real estate agents. And today I have Jacob Shireman with me here, and we're going to be talking about everything websites when it comes to real estate agents. I am a team leader as well as a real estate agent with the XP Realty. And this is my business partner, Jacob. And him and I have been working for the last couple of weeks on our own websites and putting together really everything that we worked together on all these all these months and putting them all in one place. And from that, there was a lot of learning. And Jacob actually has been doing this for a number of years, for 13 plus years, I believe, right, Jacob? Uh, 15 now, actually. Oh, yeah. There you go, 15 years. And there's so much learning that both of us has gone through undertaking this website for both of ours. And I think there were just a lot of things that came out of it. And I have a lot of questions for Jacob and I hope you will tune in with us and learn in the process. So before we get started, Jacob, can you give everybody a little intro about yourself, please? Yes, my name is Jacob Sharman. I'm a realtor here in Houston, Texas. I'm also with eXp. And uh, I've been in digital marketing for, like I said, 15 years now. And a majority of my digital marketing experience is with web design. Uh, it's what I went to college for and studied. And a majority of my work in the corporate sector has been in web design, which I also own my own digital marketing company and also a marketing company with Armilla. And that's where a lot of my uh, marketing and web design experience come from. Amazing. And you're the perfect person to have this conversation with is because you and I just because I mentioned we underwent creating this website from scratch, actually both of our websites from scratch, but Jacob is actually going to is sharing a screen and he's going to walk us through all the elements that you want to keep in mind while you're building your own website or if you ever hire somebody to work with you or if you build your own website as a real estate agent, what are the key components that you need to have? So, Jacob, the first question I have for you is. Why do you think real estate agents needs to have a good website? And can you touch on a little bit about what it means to have a good website yes. or an effective website? A lot of times with real estate agents, they get some type of kind of templated website with their brokerage, um, a lot of times utilizing their brokerage name. Um, and the thing is that website doesn't stand apart and it's on the same domain name as your brokerage. Even if you do like a redirect, you know, jacobsharman.com would redirect to my IDX website through my brokerage. And the problem is it doesn't stand out. You have a, a lot more hard time trying to control the optimization of the website because you're kind of left uh, with what the brokerage's website allows you to do. So there you can't get as much uh, search optimization as you would like to be found if somebody's searching for you know, homes to buy in a particular area or a realtor. Um, and it doesn't always communicate your brand. So you got a, a specific design for your business cards and social media, and you're creating this brand, but then you're kind of stuck with this website that your brokerage gives you. So by having your own website, it allows you one to share your brand to make everything look cohesive, but it also tells your story and tells you what your business that your real estate business is about and allows you to kind of stand out and it allows you to control the content that's on your website a lot of times with these idx websites it's just a bunch of listings that your brokerage has not necessarily your featured listings and um which is there's some pros and cons to that because then they'll be able to see all the properties available and use you as an agent but you can't feature your listings right away and so you're kind of just left with this website that doesn't really match your brand so it's great for a real estate agent to venture out eventually and get their own website um, that way they can control the information that's on there and when you're looking for a good website you want to make sure that you have a website that's built well because everything that's on your website will contribute to your SEO, which is search engine optimization. So if you go to Google and search realtors in Houston, Texas, you want to come up in those first results on those first page on the first page. And you won't be able to do that if you don't have good content and it's not and it's not well designed um, and coded correctly. So that's what you need to have in a good website is it needs to be done properly so that way you don't lose those hits when it comes to search engine optimization 
That's amazing. And Jacob, uh, if anybody that's watching this right now, if you have any questions at all, make sure you engage with us, ask the questions. I have Jacob with me, so he's able to answer all the questions for you. So make sure you leave it in the comment section below and I'll happy to answer them for you live right here. And I think a lot of people have questions about not understanding web development. And I think that's why it's really important that we're having this conversation. So. I wanted to pull out a couple of things you talked about when Jacob mentioned having your own website or having your broker's website. Do keep in mind, if your brokerage gives you your own custom URL website that's integrated to your CRM with the database that you own, that is what we're looking for. But if your brokerage is giving you a listing, you're like almost listed as agent profile, a, a staff uh, profile on their website, and, and that is your page, there's a big problem because if you look at the URL, it's the brokerage URL. And if it's connected to a CRM, it's going to their CRM. They own your lead. So if you run ads to that page, big mistake because you're pretty much giving your leads, you're paying for leads to go directly to your broker. So keep that in mind and understand when we talk about integration, integration is everything. That's why any kind of ads you do, any kind of promotions you do, any kind of efforts you do, you wanna make sure it's coming back directly to your CRM and building your database. So always remember your end goal. And that's why it is so important you have a well-built website. And people often think website is about what it looks like. If I, as long as you have one, that's all that matters. Absolutely not. And it's further from the truth. And I want you to hear from someone like Jacob who built hundreds of websites in the past 15 years of him working with numerous real estate agents and so many different industry. And I think it's really about being being seen. It's about building a business. It's about that net income as well. So Jacob, I also wanted to ask you, what are some key features that is important? Is it possible for you to show us some examples of what makes it a good website? What are some key features you recommend people have, especially as a real estate agent or if you're in the real estate industry? Yes, it's one the main thing is that you want your users to be able to navigate your website and find the information that they need. A lot of times, if you're running Google Analytics on a website, you'll see something called a bounce rate, and that's how long it took a user to leave your website. So a lot of times, users will come, they don't find the information they want, everybody's in a hurry these days, so you'll see somebody, they'll spend 20 seconds on your website, they didn't find what they wanted, and they've left. And so a lot of people, just don't understand the hierarchy of what a website is supposed to do. So we're going to use your website as an example. And one thing that people don't understand is that your homepage of your website is a summary of your entire website. So it should have kind of like an index in a book. You can see all the chapters, the page numbers, where to go to get to that information. That is what your homepage is. So when you come to your homepage, everything that's listed on these pages on these sub pages should be able to find some reference to them. So that way your menu is not the only way to get to those items. So, you know, even just looking right away at the banner, you know, each page usually has some type of header, a banner and a menu. Um, as soon as you get to yours, you, you've you established what you guys do. You drive remarkable results and you tell how that you do that uh, by creating opportunities for real estate investors and realtors. And you wanna quickly identify who you are and then a call to action. So whether that's learn more about your services, here we did a schedule a consultation and um, it will have a pop-up from Calendly to, for users to be able to schedule uh, a time in your calendar. And then the next section, we went right to explore our services. So you're right away letting somebody know, this is what we do, this is what we offer on our website. So whether it's realtor services, investment coaching, partnership, marketing consultations, you have everything here. You can go to the corresponding pages uh, with that service. Next thing is events. You have events that are coming up uh, for your team. Here is a reference to those. Um, and then your biography, you know, um, lets people know exactly who you are and why they should do business with you. And then we have your Instagram feed, feature videos from your YouTube, and another call to action. You should always start have a call to action in the middle and then end with another call to action because you never know which point they might skip to. And it's important to tell your user what you're wanting them to do and what the ultimate goal for conversion is on your website. And that is either to contact you guys by filling up this form that pops up or it's to sign up for your newsletter um, for um, and subscribe to your email list. And then obviously your contact information at the bottom, every page will have a similar footer. So when you're building a website, think about the information that you're wanting to communicate. 
and think about how you want to divide that. So up here at the menu, we have invite, we've divided all the pages based on your services. So all of your investor services, um, your realtor services with buyers, sellers, um, things that you offer if they join your real estate uh, group, um, your marketing services, learn more about you and Josh and um, contact you guys. So you kind of have to get on a piece of paper, old school way is the way I do it. And then you kind of just write everything out that you're you're wanting your website to communicate. A lot of people just start designing, start putting pictures and start putting content. And they think, like you said before, a website is just a bunch of images on a page and it is far from the truth. There's actually even a quote on my other marketing website that literally says, a website is more than just pretty images on a page. You need a website that will actually work for you. Because remember, this is a lead generation tool for your business. When you're sleeping, when you're not available, you need to drive people to a certain area and ultimately to get them into some type of contact form or your CRM. That way it is communicating what you're doing. And it's your 24 seven sales agent, really. And a lot of people just don't have the right setup to their website where people can find the information and then people just end up leaving, which ultimately hurts your search engine optimization. And obviously your website's not doing anything for you. So it's just kind of a, a waste of a valuable resource. That's amazing. And in terms of looking at features like that from a perspective of this is what I'm offering, this is who I'm targeting. What is your recommendation when people try to put everything in one place that aren't directly within one industry? Because one of the, the big uh, issue that we were talking about too is that I have, you know, I'm an artist, I have artworks and I I, I do that on the side. That's another business that I, I do and it's a big passion of mine. And, you know, until, you know, until I start doing things that are correlated to the real estate, you were like, okay, I don't want to bring this in. So it, it was really, met, it was very strategic in the way that we built this website. It's really all around thinking about our database and and making sure it was going to the right place. And, and I love that you kept always asking the question like, okay, this call to action, where is it going to go? Who are you talking to? And anything to do with investors and buyers and sellers, it was connected to my my KB Core database, which is my real estate database, my CRM. And then for my, well, real estate for transactions and then for my my for to growing my team and my real estate agents i have a separate database where i communicate with them there so i love that you kept asking every time we were building out a certain feature or a certain part of a page who is this for and why do you think that was so important because you need to know where the user needs to go because you know we talked about even with your artwork it really everything on your website, whether it's marketing, investors, buyers, sellers, it's all some way related around the real estate field that you're doing. Even though you can put your artwork on here in like your bio section, you know, you know, Tharmil is an artist, you, know, you always want to share some personal attribute of yourself, but link that to a separate website. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put everything else in one website, but we can refer people to other websites through that. But also knowing where everybody's going because one, we don't want to funnel a, a, a lead into the wrong CRM, you know, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden now that somebody's uh, looking to join your real estate group and now they're getting, you know, um, alerts on new properties that are available in their area. And that's kind of one, it looks unprofessional. So we wanted to make sure that the, not only did the user have a good experience and they got the information and got plugged into the right space but you also were organized in the way that you could generate leads. Because again, your website is a lead generation tool. And it's a, a tool that a lot of people are not taking serious and other people are. And those people that are, they're getting that valuable real estate on that Google search page. Other people aren't. And it's something that people still search for uh, today. And so you want to make sure that everything you're doing with this website is paying off and those users are going to the right space because you only have a little bit of time to gain their attention and to possibly get their business. So we didn't want to waste any time. Yeah, no, that's great points. And I would, the lastly, I wanted to, the questions I have is around navigation. So we all know there's all sorts of companies out there, so many different templates out there. As a real estate agent, and anyone, if you're working in the real estate industry, and if you don't have a marketing background, you've never built a website in your life before, it could be super daunting, I get it, and it could be overwhelming. So when you're looking at elevating your business, having a, a really effective website to funnel people to your CRM, 
what are what is your thoughts around templates and how to approach them and wh- where do where do you start and what what is your recommendation for a real estate agent who's just like okay i hear you jacob i love everything you shared i believe that i need to have the right website and i think i've been doing my business wrong all this time so i'm going to get my you know get my all my ducks lined up and i'm going to start putting together a really effective website so where do i begin depends on one budget <laughs> And to your your skill level, um, there's some people that just aren't good at technology. No matter how much you've taken them through there, they don't have just that knack for it. And that's fine because they have talents other way, uh, in other places. And there's people that can catch on really quick. So, I mean, a lot of people always default to something like a Wix or a Weebly site. I always try to steer people away from those because they just don't rank well. But they, they do allow you to quickly go in, use a template, and put that information but the problem is is that that template is not like formatted for your business and there's going to be other sections that you need to add or for the for a perfect example is that in a template you might need to add another section about your real estate business that they don't have a layout for so now you could go lay out your section and it doesn't match the template it doesn't match that flow so You can start out with templates. You just need to have an eye for it and do it. Uh, I love designing in WordPress because it's great for search engine optimization. You get a little more control and there's millions of templates out there for it. Um, And when you're choosing a template, if you decide to go to the templated route, you can't afford a web designer um, or you just don't feel like you want to waste the money. It's not for you. Um, then you can go the templated route, you know, you can get hosting for pretty cheap, four or $5 a month uh, and get your domain name. And then just, you want to make sure there's a template that it has an easy page builder. So you're not having to code a lot that you can drag and drop stuff. And two, that they have a lot of resources available on step-by-step on how to use their template, how to customize their template because that's where users fall short. They buy these templates and they're not as easy to customize. So they get uh, you know, frustrated and then it just is not a great product overall. And the other route is looking for a web designer and everybody and their brother <laughs> designs websites. Everybody and their brother's a marketer these days. And so you really need to do your due diligence. And a lot of them, they're not afraid to charge a lot of money. You know, a good website could cost you $2,500 to $5,000, depending on the features available. And a lot of people look at that, that's a lot of money. And so they'll try to go with somebody that's maybe $9.99 or $4.99 and, and you get what you pay for. And they quickly throw their information in and that's what you get. Um, so you, you really have to do your due diligence and ask web designers questions like, how do I maintain the site? Do I have to pay you to maintain it? Is it a, is there any other monthly fees involved? Is this a one-time fee? Because you do have to maintain your website. You do have to maintain updates to it, no matter what platform you use. Um, and especially for search engine optimization, you have to constantly be adding new content and materials, whether that's uh, via blog, which is what most people do. You, there is maintenance involved with your website. So you have to figure out which is the right way for you, you know, one budget wise and two skill level, and then look for a template that is available out there um, that fits your skill level and that fits your brand and that is easy to use and customize because what's, what happens and we're, we know this by working with our team is a lot of people try to save a few dollars and what happens is they end up spending a ton of time and it takes them away from those income producing activities. So really evaluate how important it is to you and how much time you're willing to dedicate to that. Because if it takes a lot of time, it's just, you're better off to get a professional to do it. Good point. And, you know, I I was one of those people too, right? I always spend so much time thinking about I understand your brand and look and feel is so important. It's equally important as the strategy as well as the way that your website is built. But often, you know, we've spent so much time as clients, let's say, thinking about, oh, you know, it doesn't look this way. It doesn't look that way. When I didn't realize the amount of effort and work and strategy that goes into the back end of building a website, the technical side of things. And that's why I really, a lot of what you said just 
really hit me is that I hope that's what people take out of this is that, you know, the branding is just, a, it's like a, it should be a, taking your already existing brand style sheet and just applying across all board of anything you've put out. So mm -hmm. thank you, Jacob, for the amount of information you shared with us today. Thank you so much for spending time with us, uh, giving us a ton of, ton of value. Anything else you want to share? Do you want to share uh, what, what you're working on these days and what you have available for real estate agents that they can take opportunity because you are somebody who has a ton of different services and there's a number of things that you and I work on together as well. So go ahead and uh, take a moment to share those. Yeah. And doing your website, we recently redid mine. So you can go check out my website, jacobshireman.com. All of my services are there. Um, and I'm rolling out for this specific reason, especially for my team, is that um, a template that's actually easy to use. So uh, easy to edit and fully customizable. So I'm gonna be rolling out a series of um, kind of trainings. Um, it's gonna take a template and uh, here's one of them that we have um, here. It's got uh, two different layouts. Um, it's two different homepage layouts. This is a simple one page site. Um, you don't have to have five different pages starting out right away. So this is a one page website that has a featured property. So you can go add your featured properties to this gallery. And it also has where you can add your resources and guides, your market updates, people to sign up to your newsletter, a quick bio. Um, and then it automatically just stays on the page and scrolls down to where it needs to go. Contact section and a blog section and featured videos. So we have this template. One thing that I wanted to do differently with this template that nobody else is really doing is I literally walk you step by step on how to customize this one page template to match your real estate business. And then we're going to have some more luxury type um, um, templates coming out. Uh, so they have different look and feels, um, but you can go check this out. It, it will be live this week. You just go to trainings and uh, look at it on my website. And then it's very easy to use. I walk you through how to get your hosting, how to install WordPress, how to get your domain name, how to upload the template, and then again, how to go through and customize it and what maintenance looks like um, with um, having the template. So uh, check that out. And if you have any questions about which route um, you should take with web design, um, we can talk through it and see what is the best approach for you. Yeah, and honestly, this is coming from somebody who worked in marketing for you know ten plus years, and I've worked with so many different people who worked within websites, helping you know I worked with designers who gave me content to put on websites, people who were building websites, and I I'll tell you one of the best experience I've ever had was working with you. You're super strategic, very thorough, easy to work with, and I think the way that you would ask questions about my business allowed me to understand so much of how I want to communicate that to my audience, and a lot of people don't do that. And people aren't, they don't understand it from that perspective. And I think that's what made it really not just simple for me, but made it easier for me and excited about launching my own website. So guys, I'm going to put all the information about both of Jacob and my our website in, in our description. If there's any way that you can go, uh, if, you, if there's any way, any opportunity that you find, you want to partner with us, work with us, let us know if there's anything that we can do to help elevate your brand. We're here for you. We are in a way like one-stop shop to help you really build and elevate your brand. Jacob and I partner with real estate agents around the world to help build your business for free. So have a look, check out both of our websites. We'd love to partner with you. We'd love to work with you. And thank you so much for spending this wonderful day with us. I hope this content was, uh, this information, and everything that Jacob shared today was, was insightful for you. And I hope it helped you. And I hope it helps you grow and scale your brand. And thank you so much, Jacob. Uh, this is, this was amazing. And as you can see, I'm one lucky person to be working with Jacob on a daily basis. So thank you everyone. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, putting up more content in the future around real estate marketing. And if there's anything that you're looking to learn from us let us know as well and i'll see you next time thanks guys